Okay guys, in this video we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to bind yourself the FlySky receiver. These are some of the cheapest receivers you could buy in the market. I picked this one up for about $750. I generally only run this radio, the FlySky FSGT3B, only because you could use it for up to 10 models and it has a nice computer display as you'll see later and the receivers for them are extremely cheap. So we're going to go through the actual binding process here and we will show you that in fact it is very easy and a really good option. Okay, so the unit comes shipped like this. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get the actual receiver itself. You'll get the antenna wire, like a little mini antenna wire. This is the receiver itself. It's a very small three-channel receiver. And you will get the bind plug. You have to use this in order to bind it to the radio uh, on the first go-around. Okay, so the car I have here for demonstration purposes is a Traxxas uh, Rustler 2.5, but it doesn't matter. We're basically going to use this on here because I have no receiver installed and You could really bind this to any RC that you have brushless or nitro Okay, so first thing you have to do is make sure you insert the bind plug right here on top where it says Bind so this has to be inserted like that Okay, your bind plug is there and then insert your power source now this could be your receiver uh, I mean, I'm um, sorry, this could be your battery connection. In this case, I have just a simple battery pack connected to it, or this could be your ESC wire. So insert it into the top portion right here where it says plus minus, which is the power on the t all the way in the top. I'm going to insert it. Okay, so now that we have the cable wires plugged in, all we have to do is uh, power on the actual receiver, pick the spot that you want to bind it to. Let's see where I will bind it. Okay, so I will bind it to, let's see, uh, locate model number seven. I have nothing set there, so uh, we'll just call this model number seven. Okay, so uh, let's turn it off, and you'll see as we go through the process what it's going to take. Uh, basically, I'll tell you right now, we're going to be pressing this bind button right here. This top button all the way is the bind button. So you have to hold this button while power on, powering on the remote and the car itself. Okay, so let's go through that process now. Okay, at this point we're ready to connect everything. I have the wires plugged in as I described just now. First thing we're going to do is power on the RC and we will notice that the receiver is flashing. That is okay. Um, then you wanna hold the bind button and while holding the bind button, power on the actual remote itself. So we're going to power it on. And we'll see that, in fact, it is now a solid glow. Once it's a solid glow, hold it about 2 or 3 seconds and you can let go. After which, now just power down the RC and test out your actual connection. But before you test it out, make sure you remove the bind plug and plug in the power as it is meant to be plugged in. So I have uh, just a couple servos here. I'm going to plug them in. It really doesn't matter what order as long as we have some kind of response. Okay, channel 1, channel 2, at this point doesn't matter. You could rearrange it later. Okay, so it is plugged in. Let's power on the RC. And, okay, here we go. So as you can tell, we have steering and we have throttle. So that was a full demonstration on how to bind any FlySky receiver. This is the cheapest way to uh, use the same radio and have nice cool computer functions as you guys just saw. I mean, look at this. You could choose model names, whatever you want. I, in fact, have a couple binded uh, RCs here. I have a Tamiya, I have a Nitro, another Rustler, I have a Stampede, I have another uh, Traxxas Revo. There it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer.